Wow, y'all. I didn't even get everything on my list. So wait till y'all see how much this was. Hi, friends. So I'm back to Aldi. I have 50 bucks. I'm going to try to do my weekly grocery haul for $40 because I'm comparing this to when I did this back in February of 2020, almost four years ago, which just sounds so crazy that 2020 was four years ago. But anyway, back in February of 2020, I was able to get 17 items for $36. So I'm going to look at the same kind of similar items and see how much they are, but I am going to try to get what we need now as a family for a week at Aldi. Now it's not gonna include a whole bunch of meat because like I said, I get a lot of my meats in at Costco in bulk. Well, a lot of my meats, not all of my meats. But a lot of the stuff that I'm getting is the same. I'm gonna get a pack of ground beef, a bunch of fruits, some snacks for my girls, uh, just a couple of other random things that are very comparable for to what I got in February of 2020. And we're gonna see exactly how much more groceries cost. Now, I recently did a very similar video, this, the exact same concept, comparing Costco prices from four years ago to now. And on average, everything increased by 20, 22%. Like that's wild. If you want to see that video, you could tap this eye right here to watch it. But essentially, yes, everything was 20% more. Uh, the most expensive increase was eggs at 47% increase, a 47% increase in 20 years. I feel like a lot of you know, the average American is getting gaslit into thinking that inflation is only 7% when in reality, listen, these groceries are costing us a lot more, a lot more. So let's go into Aldi, see what they have, see what we can get with our $40 budget. This is a $50 bill, but I'm gonna try to spend only 40 and see how much more everything costs. All right, first up on our list is strawberries. I kid you not, in February of 2020, the strawberries were literally 99 cents. <laughs> This is how much they cost now. It's crazy how the prices in Aldi can change within a week because last week when I was here, I believe the grapes were $1.69. I think they were $1.69, I said it, and now it's $2.15. In February of 2020, the grapes were $1.69 a pound. Now it's $2.15 a pound. Not $2.69, it was $1.49 a pound in February of 2020. But these don't look too good. My girls like really small grapes. Like these are way too big. Last week they were super tiny, so I'm just not gonna get them. I may have to go to another Aldi to see if I can find the ones that we like. Okay, the raspberries were $2.19 in February 2020, and now they're $2.69. All right, that's a 44% increase for the cost of the grapes, even though, like I said, I guess it just depends on what, when you come. Okay, I'm gonna get blackberries. The cost now is $2.19, and I will give you guys the percentages when I get home, because it's kind of crowded in here, and it's hard to stop and calculate. All right, so the organic blackberries, they only have organic this week, are $2.99. That's not bad for the organic blackberries. The organic, they don't have any more organic raspberries for $3.29, and then the organic blueberries are $3.69. All right, I'm gonna get some more of these blueberry muffins. Ava really likes these. I got her blueberry last week. Maybe I should get her chocolate chip this week. She likes these, so I'm gonna get some cherry tomatoes. Back in February of 2020, the cherry tomatoes were two dollars and forty-five cents. Now they are three six three forty-nine. You know, I should note these are organic. I don't. I have to look back in the video to see if I bought organic last year. I'll have to see. I am gonna get the multicolor bell pepper because at Kroger they are two for three dollars normally. Um, you hardly ever see these go on sale for like ninety-nine since each and they're here the multicolor peppers are 269 for three so i don't i don't know how much it was last year the green or excuse me four years ago the green is a dollar 89 doesn't it feel like covid was just last year like the covid year 2020 was last year it's crazy i'm gonna see if we can afford these but i know both of my girls would like these pencil bites they're 529. I shouldn't say afford it. I should say if I want a splurge, because that's what this would be is a splurge. You know what? I'll just get them some pretzel and chips and call it a day. Okay, I think what I got in February 2020 was regular cherry tomatoes, not organic. That seems about right. The price is 289 now. Again, the price back in 2020 was 245. 
need to do the math on this. They have the Haas avocados here for 59 cents. Now at Costco, you get six for $5.99, sometimes it's $4.99. Let me do the math on that. I'm gonna have to start coming here because they're $3.54 if I were to buy six at 59 cents. This is not on sale, so I'm assuming this is like the normal price. But I'm gonna start shifting because like, girl, these prices are just wild. The price of the pretzels have gone up. Even this year, I don't remember them being $1.75. Back in 2020, in February, pre-pandemic, they were $1.29. So, that's kind of crazy. All right, this is a huge increase. The Benton's Double Stuffed Oreos were $1.55 in February of 2020. This is a very nice um, dub for the Oreo brand Oreos. It's like the Aldi brand Oreos. Now they're $2.45. That's kind of crazy. Now I don't see the knockoff brand of Girl Scout cookies. Oh no, here they are. These caramel coconut fudge cookies by Benton's. They were $1.36 in February 2020. Now $2.29. That's wild. That's really wild. The vanilla wafers were $1.29. And now they are $2.39. Wow. All these cookies that I've just showed have literally doubled in price. To go from $1.25 for the vanilla wafers or $1.29 to $2.40, it's almost double the price. The wavy potato chips were $1.19. Now they're on sale for $1.59. I'm gonna get Ava some more of these. Um, instant oatmeal. She loves it. She eats it like twice a day. Let's see. She said she would be willing to try the berry. They have it, but it looks like they just have apple cinnamon and oats and flax and brown sugar. So I'm going to get her some more of the brown sugar. And they're on sale for two fifteen. Huh. I did not know you can buy a three pack. Family pack. How much is that? I don't know. This price says marked. No, you can buy a three pack here. How much is it? $4.49 per pound. So if it's $4.49, that just says fresh patties. I don't know. Oh, let's look up here. Okay, so I'm going to get a pack of this because I'm going to make some spaghetti tomorrow. I'm going to use some spaghetti squash that I'm buying. This is $5.19. In February of 2020, it was $5.29. Wow. Is that right? Oh, this one is $5.29 on sale, the lean, and I don't want the lean, so. Well, that's a plus, at least it's a little bit cheaper, so that's a plus, I'll take it. I'm going to get this, I wanna see how much it costs. They actually, when I went to Costco last week, they didn't have any organic ground beef. And I like the fact that these packs are more than a pound. They are 1.34 pounds. Um, which is similar to like the three pack that you get from Costco as opposed to just buying this individually at $5.19 a, a pop for just one pound. So I'm going to get the, the big pack and see um, what that will do. That'll be a plus for us if we could still be under $40. Girl, we're cutting it close. I just have like maybe two more things to get. I want to get some pesto. So I got the Miracle Noodles from Costco and the pesto, the salsa they mixed it in was looked so good, but it was super expensive. So I'm gonna get some of this. It's $2.09. Wow, the Dukes in February of 2020 was $3.19. Now it's $4.48. It's pretty high. My husband said we had a half a thing left, but I'm getting ready to make some chicken salad. So I do want to get some more. Ugh, that's so annoying though, isn't it though? That's like really expensive. I don't need any Hawaiian rolls for this trip, but back in February of 2020, the Hawaiian rolls were $159 and now they're $199 on sale. They're normally $275. I'm gonna get a Burson cheese to put with my spaghetti. I'm making like that um, that viral spaghetti feta bake, feta and um, cherry tomato bake. I'm going to make that tomorrow with spaghetti squash. And then I'll have like regular spaghetti for my girls. But anyway, the person cheese is $3.99. I know for a fact this is like over $5 at Kroger. Cause I was just looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. All right, y'all wish me luck. Do you think I can get all of this for under $40? It's really not that much stuff. In that haul from February, 2020, I counted my items. I had 17 items. Now on this one, I have 15. 
but it includes this three pack of ground beef. So if you include that, it's really 13, 16, 17 items. So it's, it's really comparable. I just, I, I think it's gonna be closer to $60, but I don't know, we will see how much it costs when we get there. But let me go ahead and organize my stuff and get, oh, no, that doesn't look right. Let me go ahead and get a different one. Wow, y'all, I didn't even get everything on my list. So wait till y'all see how much this was. Oh, the family pack of ground beef is what did it, girl. That family pack of brown beef was $17.96, which kind of aligns because the the um, family pack of Costco brown beef at Costco at Costco room at Costco is $19.99. So it's a little bit cheaper here, but that's what took us over the edge. But I'll explain in a minute. I'm getting ready to go to another Aldi because I need to find those small grapes for my chicken salad and for my girls because they love them so much. So let me pack this stuff up. All right, y'all, so I drove to another Aldi, okay? And I'm gonna give you the prices and how, the percentages and all that when I get home. But I came to another Aldi because I wanted to see if they had a better selection of produce because last week it was like a dream at Aldi. And I'm trying to see what week that was, the third week? Is this the fourth week? of? I think it was the third week of January. This is the fourth week of January but there's like five weeks in January so anyway and so I you know want to see if they have those grapes if the prices are the same because I kind of wrote them down and how you know every Aldi is different I mean I am lucky enough to be able to I actually have three Aldi's I can go to one of them is like really crappy though I never go to that one and then two of them are really nice so I'm gonna come in here I'm just going to look at the produce really quick see if there's a change in the price and then report back with everything that I got, how much it costs, how much more everything is, and then we'll discuss when I get home. All right, they only have big grapes here. So it is, well, hold on. This kind of big? She would think these are big, they're not red enough. The things I do for my kids, oh, wait a minute, here we go. The price is the same, $2.15 a pound. It is more expensive than what it was last week. And they do have blueberries, not organic, for two eighty nine. They did not have any at the other Aldi, but the prices are consistent with the other Aldi. I'm also going to get some red onions because they're only a dollar sixty five. I did not see these at the other Aldi. The yellow onions were one ninety five, and I already have yellow onions at the house, and I need some red ones for my chicken salad. All right, y'all. So I'm back home, and let me just break everything down for you. First of all, I went to that other Aldi. I got two bags of grapes. They're a little bit on the smaller side, uh, hopefully small enough that, you know, Zara will eat them. I did get the blueberries because they had these there for two, what was it, 289? I can't remember. They did not have the blueberries at the first Aldi. And then I also got a bag of red onions because I already have yellow and I need red for my chicken curry chicken salad. Altogether, this was $13.89, and it did align with the prices that were at the first Aldi. But the meat and potatoes of this video is, what percentage of increase did these groceries cost? So let's start breaking it down. Okay, so I finished calculating everything. Let's go through the things that I have the comparable prices for that I actually bought. Strawberries was astronomically way more expensive. And I don't, we can't say it's the time of year because the video that I'm comparing this to was February of 2020, as you know, I've mentioned several times in the video. We are now two weeks away from February of 2024, okay? And these strawberries are a whopping 303% more now. So four years ago, they were 99 cents. Now they are $3.69. That was by far the most expensive hop the raspberries were 219 and now they're 269 that's a 22 percent increase the grapes and here's the thing with the grapes this was a 44 percent increase for 149 a pound in 2020 to 215 per pound now but last week when i was at aldi they were 169 a pound so i it could be my timing i know that the the strawberries were like maybe 269 last week so it could just be the timing of when i'm filming this but still it's astronomically more now in 2024 the duke's mayonnaise this exact same size mayonnaise in 2020 was 319 now it's four dollars and 48 cents that's 40 percent increase and see the thing is when you look at it in percentage wise it's a lot um that's why i was really 
offended when the Dollar Tree went up to a dollar twenty-five. Most people were like, "Oh, it's just a, it's just twenty-five cents. It's just twenty-five cents more." But when you look at it percentage-wise, you're paying twenty-five percent more for the same product, and I just. It just doesn't sit well with me. Unless it's going straight to the people who are actually running these stores and paying the employees, then it kind of feels better. But most of the time with these increases, it goes to the CEO of the company. And that is the, the majority of that increase goes to the CEO or the board members of the company. And that's, that's what gets really frustrating. The cookies by far was the second highest increase the vanilla wafers, I did not buy anything any this trip because I bought some last week. These vanilla wafers in 2020, in February 2020, they were $1.29. Now they're $2.39. You think, oh, that's not too bad. It's just a dollar ten more. Well, that's an 85% increase. Okay. The Bettons, which is Aldi's brand of double stuff Oreos, that increased by 68%. They are now $2.29. They were $1.36 or excuse me, $1.55. The caramel coconut cookies were $1.36. Now they're $2.29. That's a 68% increase. So the Hawaiian rolls, that was another big one. On sale, they're $1.99. Last, uh, you know, in 2020, they were $1.59. That was the regular price. That's a 25% increase on sale. But the normal price is $2.75. So when you compare the $2.75 to the price that was in 2020, which is $1.59, that's a 72% increase. And Hawaiian rolls are much more expensive. The King's Hawaiian rolls at Costco or Kroger or Publix, your local grocery store is very, very expensive. So like I said, when you look at it as far as percentages, that's a pretty big increase, okay? Let me share with you what else I got. I got the spit baby spinach and arugula. This was, let's see, this is organic and it was $2.79. And I had bought in that haul back in 2020, I bought I bought regular spinach and I want to say it was around the same price as this. I bought the multicolored bell peppers. These were $2.69. Way cheaper to get them here. Like I said, they're two for three dollars at Kroger. I got some cherry tomatoes. I didn't get the, the organic. I put those back. I got the regular cherry tomatoes, and those were $2.89. I got some blackberries, organic blackberries for $2.99. Again, way cheaper than Kroger because they're like over $5 there. Um, I got Ava some more oatmeal, instant oatmeal packets in the maple brown sugar. I got her some more of the blueberry muffins. She's my snacker, she likes to snack. Zara doesn't snack as much, but she, she loves a good snack. <laughs> I got them both pretzel sticks because they like those. I got them these fudge stripe cookies, which I swear in 2020, early pre-pandemic 2020, these were like a dollar. Now they are 209. So I know they were nowhere near close to $2. Back then, I got myself some press pesto sauce to make with my miracle noodles. I've never tried this pesto sauce before. Hopefully it's good, but we'll see. I got the Borzin garlic and herb cheese that I'm gonna use for my spaghetti bake that I'm using with the spaghetti squash. I did buy the spaghetti squash. The spaghetti squash was $3.65 because it's $2.29 a pound. And what else? I did splurge on the family size ground beef. This is, was a nice find. I had never seen this before at Aldi. I didn't know. I thought you had to buy the individual packs. The individual packs are only one pound. These are 1.34 pounds, a little bit more than a, a a pound and a quarter. Um, I think I mentioned this in the store. This was a good find for me. These were $17.96. It's still cheaper than, than Costco's organic grass-fed ground beef. You know what? They didn't even have the ground beef at Costco, so that was kind of frustrating. So I did buy this. This was the most expensive thing at $17.96. All right, so you wanna know the grand total. I said it was gonna be, remember in the store, before I went to the register, I didn't think I could do it for $40. I think it's gonna be closer to $60. And girl, I was right on the money. It was $60.54. Now that does not include what I got from that second store, the second Aldi. Altogether, that was $13. That was the red grapes, the onion, and the blueberries. So I got 17, if you count each individual pack of this ground beef, it's 17 items, okay? In February of 2020, it was 17 items I purchased. And in February 2020, I paid $36.36. .36.
for those 17 items. If you wanna see that original video, you can tap this eye right here to watch it. And I will link it in the description box below um, where I went over how much everything cost. Obviously, on average, I would say everything that I talked about to compare increased by 30, 35%. Some, the, the, the lowest increase was 25%. That was the Hawaiian rolls because they were on sale. If they were not on sale, the, the lowest increase would have been the pretzels at 35% more. Of course, now I gotta talk about the ground beef. Now the individual packs of ground beef back in um, February of 2020 was $5.29. Now it's $5.19. So that was the only thing that was cheaper. Uh, hey, it's 10 cents, I'll take it. That's still a plus. It was cheaper, um, but everything else astronomically increased. Just the same with um, Costco. Um, everything that I, when I filmed that, it was an astronomical increase of at least 20%. Um, but I would say uh, the cookies to me, that was the biggest surprise to me. I did not think that that would be so much more, you know? But that is it, my friends. And I really am looking at this stuff and I really don't feel like I got that much stuff. The ground beef, now if we took the ground beef out, let's just say I only bought one pack of ground beef, right? Let's see what our total would be. Okay, so I would have been in budget if I would have bought one pack of ground beef for $5.19. If I add them to my total and then subtract the $17.96, that would have bought me at $47.77. So I would have been under 50. So are we spending more for groceries? Absolutely. Is it more like the inflation cost of 7%? Absolutely not. It's astronomically more, okay? And so maybe when you're negotiating your raises at your jobs, I would bring this up and say, listen, our groceries are costing us on average 25 up to 35 even in some instances 60 percent more for the same exact item the same number of items in this containers and it is what it is and i don't this has nothing to do with anything political i don't i mean that's not what we're talking about here i'm just stating facts about where we are when it comes to groceries in the united states I would love for my international people to leave a comment down below and let me know on average what percentage do you think your groceries have increased because you know the pandemic was it was a worldwide pandemic it wasn't just obviously in the united states it was worldwide how did it affect you and your groceries and i would also like to know for people who live in different regions of the united states about how much more are you paying for these things um i live in the southeast i live in um, georgia i'm curious to know if people who live in different regions how much more are you paying for your groceries now um it's just really interesting to me anyway leave a comment down below let me know all your thoughts thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and i will see you guys in the next video bye